all times shares on loan guys 167 million shares on loan at the same time <laughs> the percentage of the float that is currently on loan is going even higher it's going very close to 33 percent of the float yesterday was 32 percent and most a big scandal how about 33 percent as of today almost also the short interest remains 22.17 percent and also this is ortex right and earlier guys i was scrolling through different analysts reading different articles early early in the morning and this is what i found of one of the most bullish and bearish analysts on amc stock as a projection and price target look at this the most bullish analyst on amc give a price target of 35 dollars and 10 cents this is the price target that was given from independent analysts a couple of days ago and this was the most realistic value price of the stock. The average price target for AMC given from some other analysts is $9.95 and the lowest is $1. I think this is a one guy, ask the one guy. We all know who this guy is and we all know why he gave a $1 price target for AMC. And guys, this is without any short interest, short sellers, uh, you know, mother of all short squeezes included in this price action. So you can definitely get an idea that uh, if the stock has a natural value on the market of 35 bucks, uh, we're speaking about 3x from here, which is very, very weird because uh, as we yesterday announced, one out of every three shares is currently on loan. Uh, three seems to be a very lucky number, but let's put all this into perspective. They cannot keep these numbers uh, until the shareholder meeting, right? This time frame between now and the shareholder meeting, what is it? Two weeks and something and change, right? They have to clean this up. Just think about it. It will be mind blowing, you know, having these numbers, 33% of the float available outside on loan and other men speaking, uh, you know, live streaming the, the 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 shareholder meeting saying that same thing you know individuals on 90 percent of the stock so this is why guys i'm expecting to see a big change in all of these numbers in the next two weeks uh, in my opinion the short interest will go higher if the stock goes lower my opinion little by little cost to borrow should increase something that we saw happening after we hit the hundred percent utilization uh didn't skyrocket as soon as we hit it but it took like three four months uh, after we constantly sit on this kind of percent utilization to see that the cost to borrow slightly increasing and as you can see right now the cost to borrow is not as bad as it used to be it's not one or two percent so i believe if they keep playing the same game you know putting borrowing more and more shares dumping them on the market this eventually in a natural way should increase the cost to borrow and the cost to borrow probably could go to five six seven eight percent as a minimum cost to borrow not average not max also guys the stocks opened in green but they're waiting to see the feds meeting later today and i bet that we're gonna see a huge reversal in red because well no during the feds minute meeting it's always bad and in days like today's on the market guys we have to focus on the big picture remember what one of the greatest investor and hedge fund manager did Ray Dalio's hedge fund put 600k in AMC and bought some GameStop and at the same time he dumped Tesla. He knew that the tech sector will suffer a major sell-offs. This is what happened. Uh, and I believe he will be right. I believe he uh, eventually knew that it's worth risking putting some money on the side because the shares that he owned in AMC or in GameStop uh, doesn't make count to be put on loan, right? They're very few shares but it's kind of a of a of a going on 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 monaco and you're not a, a a casino player right you don't like to gamble but it's kind of a word for you to dump like a hundred bucks to, to 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 try your luck because you know that the potential reward could outcome the initial investment also don't forget that monday the stock market is not going to work so the price action on thursday and friday uh, probably will be very very sketchy in my opinion they will try to close the stock deep in red on friday so in this way they will be able to push a lot of bearish articles over the weekend plus monday 
So essentially, there will be no no potential FOMO coming in and buying in. The market looks green so far, but like I said, wait after the Fed's meeting. Probably everything will turn red because so far everything is aligned. All the major indices are green, AMC is green, GameStop is green, but wait for the Fed. Leave your thoughts in the comment section, guys. Subscribe to the channel, like this video, and come back for more.